Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, as always, seems like is the case. Uh, it's been far and few and far in between for my videos. Uh, you know, same old story. Uh, crazy work schedule and uh, trying to keep up with my music commitments and all that. But uh, I do have some vacation time coming up. Uh, our fiscal year actually ends at the end of April. It goes from like April to May or May to April. And that's when we get our vacation days back and our personal days. So I'm, you know, going to try to take a few days just to, uh, you know, catch up on comic stuff, uh, as it were. Anyway, uh, still been uh, getting some comics. Uh, got a lot of nice books lately. Uh, I actually finally acquired uh, one of my Holy Grails. Uh, came in the mail yesterday. Uh, I'm going to do a special video just dedicated to that soon, hopefully. Uh, but anyway, here's just some stuff that I picked up. I'm not going to show it all at once, but here's just a little oddball assortment of uh, like some silver and bronze stuff, and uh, got some more uh, Marvel picture frame covers to add to the collection, so I'll be able to check those off. Uh, first up, we got uh, some EC reprints, which is always great. Uh, we got a reprint of Weird Science number 15. I think these are like from 73, maybe 1973, 72, 73. Uh, great cover there. Lots of, of course, anybody you know that, that likes EC stuff knows how great that is. So, anyway, some nice EC reprints. Uh, this is one, another one of those books. Anytime I see a decent deal, when I pick it up, it's just one of those, I guess, obsession books. Uh, Brave and the Bold, number twenty, Batman and uh, Commandy. Square bound goodness, giant size. Uh, and it's got a great uh, reprint of the Secret Six, uh, Plunder the Pentagon. And that was always a really underrated series. I'm going to, I think I have all those. If I don't, I'm going to wait till I get them all and I'll do a dedicated uh, video to the Secret Six series. It was only like seven issues, maybe. Uh, this is one of my favorite comics uh, from the Bronze Age. You know, for obvious reasons, people that know me. Uh, i got some Charlton Western, Billy the Kid number 81. Uh, this is one that I've never really heard of, and uh, a guy had a lot of, the guy that I bought some of these off of had a lot of, a lot of oddball stuff, and, you know, that's kind of my thing. So, uh, from Red Circle Comics, uh, here's Super Cops, number one. And it's got a great Gray Morrow cover, got Gray Morrow art on the inside. So I thought that was a nice little pickup. Uh, something pretty cool to add to the collection. Something else uh, from uh, King Feature Comics, uh, Tiger <laughs> by Bud Blake. I'm not really sure what the number is on this. Uh, this is just a reader copy. I think I got it for like 50 cents or something. But it kind of reminds me of, uh, the artwork kind of reminds me of Bill Keen on Family Circle. Or Family Circus, I'm sorry. Uh, so that was uh, kind of a neat little book. Uh, this is an upgrade. It's one I already have, uh, Brave and the Bold 119, Batman and Man Bat. Uh, I always love these 70s uh, Brave and Bold with Jim Paparo and Bob Haney. I guess uh, most of his stories uh, refer to it as uh, Earth B uh, for Bob Haney, or uh, as I like to call it, the Haneyverse. Uh, you know, none of these stories were really in continuity with any of the other books, but uh, they were just really fun reads, and I just, I loved every one of them. So great Jim Apparel art on the covers and on the inside. Sorry about the glare. But... Okay, from Tower Comics, Tippy Teen number 25. A giant size uh, in the Archie vein. Uh, one of my favorite, uh, I guess, teen humor artists, Sam Schwartz, uh, did this title. You know, he did a lot of, he's known for a lot of stuff he did on Jughead and Archie Comics. Nice little pick up there. Okay, the rest of these uh, are all uh, Marvel picture frame covers. I'll just add more to the collection there. Uh, here's a great one, great cover. Uh, the John Severn. Western Gunfighters number seven. Giant size, square bound, and a picture frame to boot. Cannot beat that. Millie the Model. 
198. Rawhide Kid, number 96. It's a great looking uh, Gil Kane cover there. Chili, number 20. Invisible Iron Man, number 45. I'm not really sure who did this cover. Uh, didn't do a whole lot of research on these, but uh, kind of looks like George Tuska. I think he had, Tuska actually had a run uh, on Iron Man around this time. I'm pretty sure he did the interiors. Uh, but it's a nice cover. More Marvel Western, Mighty Marvel Western, number 17. Another great Severn cover. Daredevil number 93, uh, Black Widow, I think that's probably uh, maybe Gil Kane and Tom Palmer on the artwork, yeah. Tomb of Dracula number 5. And last but not least, uh, where monsters dwell, number 13. This, I believe, is the last issue I needed to complete that run. Uh, another great Gil Kane cover. Uh, you know, so I guess it's kind of a, kind of tops it off. You know, Kane cover, 20 center, and a picture frame cover. You know, what else could you want? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, Hopefully I'll be back sooner than later. Uh, I've been trying to catch up on some videos and leaving some comments. I uh, hope everybody's having a great week. And I will see you soon. Onward and upward.